Eduardo Hartley is a personal trainer and blogger who can also be described as a fitluencer. She believes in always teaching by example and uses vinyasa yoga to sculpt a healthier, happier you. While this may seem to be focused on the physical aspect, there's a lot more to it. I overindulged last night. Big girls night and of course, I went all out. So today, I'm here to punish myself. Let's get it. Karusha, you look like you're very hard at work. What's going on? Hey girl, of course I have to be here. I'm punishing myself. I had such a big night last night. No, 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 no. You don't need to punish yourself to look amazing. First of all, you look amazing already and there's a better way to approach exercise. Can I show you? Okay. Yes, let's go. <laughs> but Wada, this is a yoga studio. Exactly, because we need to reframe the way you are looking at fitness and exercise. Exercise shouldn't be about punishing yourself. It should be about loving yourself, about loving your body, not hating your body. And this is why I brought you here. Okay. Do you want to know more? I'm open to it. Okay, cool. Okay, so come with me. Let's go. So let's get moving. So are you ready for this? So Wada, what is this all about? We shouldn't be punishing ourselves when we work out. We should be approaching it from a place of love. So the way I approach that is with yoga and combining that with strength training. And I've come up with this concept called Vinyasa Sculpt, which I am so excited to share with you. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's start in a standing position. Sure. Deep breath in, rise up. Exhale as you swan dive all the way down over your legs. Bend your knees. Step back into plank pose. You can lower your knees, and we're gonna give 10 push-ups. One, two, three, four, nine, and 10. Tuck your toes, lift your knees as you travel forward through Chaturanga, and then up into Upward Facing Dog, and exhale into a downward facing dog. Right leg to rise, three-legged dog. Step that foot all the way through to a high lunge. Okay, now we pick up the weights and we're gonna start doing those bicep curls. Three, how does it feel? <laughs> it's deceiving, the weights feel a little bit heavier. Let's go straight into those pulses in our lunge. One, and if it's burning, it's working. <laughs> right, put the weights down. Huh, that was amazing. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So. Have I convinced you that exercise is not about punishing yourself? Definitely. I didn't think it would feel like a real workout, but it did. So I'm on the train. Are you ready to go on a little trip to Central Park? We're going to New York? We're going to go to a park that looks a lot like Central Park. So right. let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> This place is so beautiful. It's definitely a hidden gem, right? It's really, really nice. And in the middle of Joburg. So where did the concept of vinyasa sculpt come from? Towards the end of last year, I really got deeper into my yoga practice. And I realized as you really start to learn the intricacies of yoga, you realize that it actually is quite a workout. And then I thought, what if I added weights to that as well and did a bit of strength training in between? What would that look like? And I played around with it for the better part of 2019 and now launched it and ladies are really enjoying it. Well, thank you for saving me today. I'm so glad. So we've got one more part of this whole Vinyasa Sculpt experience and it's called Pranayama, which is a Sanskrit word for breath work. So we're just gonna meditate and breathe and get centered and start focusing on what our intention is. Let's do it. Palms facing up, and we're just gonna concentrate on our breathing, taking deep breaths in through our nose, expanding our belly, and exhaling as we contract once more. I think the idea of loving ourselves instead of depriving ourselves, giving to ourselves instead of punishing ourselves, is an idea that we should all get on board with. <laughs>